Good morning guys. I'll put this little clip up on my next video. As you can see, the radish already grown in height. So they're looking alright. But actually I was just doing my morning look about the garden. Well, if you can see there, you have a couple of baby slugs deciding. I don't know if you can see that one there, guys, because the sun is in my eyes. I think they'll just have a wee walk about. Khaleesi's a lovely radish and have a lunch. But he's about to go to my chickens. Well, I may as well give you a wee update while I'm out here in the courtyard. The tulips are coming to an end. As you can see those two there have been supported. The fritillary, looking stunning. Very first time that I've grown that. Those plants, and they're beautiful. Maybe next year we'll get them in the garden. Right, no longer have the little slugs. Oh, there's a little track along there. Oh my God, no, there I am not finished. Where is that little bugger? Let me see. Down here somewhere. Get off. Get away with you. That's a lavender plant I bought about three or four weeks ago and this here guys is the cuttings and we have four cuttings from that one plant in there and they are coming on absolutely fantabidozy now the courtyard's still not been all cleaned up I've just not had time guys but once it does this Acer emerald lace will have to be moved as it is going Everywhere, absolutely everywhere. If you remember, guys, in my video last year, myself and hubby bought this as a young plant and it looked half dead. We cut it all back, fed it, watered it, and it came on great. But this year it seems to be taken off, which is absolutely stunning. Tulips here coming to the end, and in the tire, we do have a passion flower in there at the back somewhere. Whether it's died off, I don't know, but we've got two round the front of the garden, so I'm not that bothered. And that is some gigantic um, pansies in there. And just to show you, there's one of the gigantic pansies there. And look at my strawberries in this little container that we found when we moved in here, actually, actually dug into the ground. They're reaching for the stars today. See, because the sun's out. Look at that. And we have flowers, and that one there is actually a strawberry coming. Yep, all over, very nice. Now, those little bloody slugs, I put slug pellets down yesterday, because those two here, the main ones, had been chopped. But having a look this morning, it has not deterred the little buggers because I've been chomping on that one as well. I'm going to say I may have to sow more, but I've sown enough. Clarice, you've sown enough. Lovely tulips in there. One of our great plants coming on absolutely smashing. Although the one in the greenhouse is doing better because they do like the heat. And quite bad soil conditions, so... I've yet to find out where they will eventually be planted. Yeah. Oh, the sun is glorious. That's my hobby's sp spearmint, spearmint mint for his tea. Some of my spring onions. The beautiful French lavender that I bought last week. The V heads were all at like that for a few days here because they really do need it hot, dry. And this big thing up here in the sky, 
I don't know the name of it guys, please tell me in the comments below as bringing it back to life more spring onions and I've got an aqualegia in there I know I'm going to have to get this place absolutely gutted out here because I'm not getting used to my potting table at all it's just full of plants and pots from last year right, sorry about the Sorry about the sunshine, or the shadow, should I say. Now that's the bamboo, and it's a cutting that I took off my big one. And I think this is either the second or the third year, and it's looking fantastic. Now we'll go in here, check the sprouting up as you would expect with the sun coming out. We do have, if you remember guys, I bought six plug plants. But uh, I will eat them all. Or oh, broccoli. Maybe we have a wee head on that one. My lettuce that has been in there over winter. I thought the frost had killed them off as it went down to zero, but now, no, they're back again. And we've got some red ones in there. I don't know if you can see through that netting. At the back, we have a calendula. A calendula. calendula which will be coming out of there because it will get too tall. And it'll go in the garden. That's the bulb onions that's in there, the ones that you can pickle, as you can see at the back. I did do a video earlier in the year uh, showing the bargains that I got, and that was one of my bargains, that pile that's there. Right, off to the docks today. And I may just take you with us because the scenic route is very, very nice indeed. And I'm going to go and show you how my onions, garlic and shallots are doing. Managed to get uh, this bit strimmed yesterday, as you can see by the difference in height from up the back. The morning dew is lying. Conference prayer is looking well. Edward Clark's favourite. Flowers are absolutely stunning, aren't they? I've never grown pears before, so I'm quite, I'm quite in awe of my bloom, my bloomage, one of my clarps' favourite. So this is Naya's bed, where my rottweiler is, that we lost last year. I still can't talk about her now. I think my husband thinks I'm doing Lally. But she was a big part of my life and I loved it to bits. So the tulips are nearly over now. But they were absolutely gorgeous when they were here. These two purple frilly ones. Let's see if I can zoom in on one. I thought I'd actually planted more. The two of the purple ones, but hey ho, we have got a heuchera in there, and we have plenty of labiola round and about, some catmint, we have some calendula at the, we have calendula at either side of the pear trees, and what popped up yesterday was this beauty. My beautiful flag iris. I love the colour. I'm not keen on the. I'm not keen on the same coloured ones, guys. I don't know if it's just because the lady across the road she grows them, and they're all the same colour. There's tons of them, but they're all the same, and I think I'm fed up looking at them. So I was quite glad when I managed to stumble across the bulbs for these a couple of years ago. So I've got one there, one to come up, and I have one over here to come up. Down here we have some foxgloves and a few more plants going in there for my bubba. Right, we'll go and do what I said that was coming out here to do. This is a big tree I always use, I usually put the salad in here. But we've got shallots. Five shallots in there looking very, very healthy. I don't know if you can see down there guys, round about the tree and we have two sunflowers down there 
I need to sort out my Willy Wonka tree. Clear out the soil and see what plants we can get in there this year. There's got to be something that tolerates the heat because this area gets red hot. Anyway, here we go. I hope you can see. Wait to try and get out the way. Sorry about the shadow, guys. There we go. Our onions are all looking healthy, even though they've been scattered about a bit by the cats and the chickens. And shallots are looking fan dabby dozy as well. And finally, I'll turn around this way. And last but not least, our garlic. And I think I have got the name of that garlic inside here. As I was looking last night, and they were garlic caught. They, that garlic is called Flavour. And they seem to be doing alright in there as well. I will not, repeat, will not be taking this netting off. Just in case we get attack off the Allium Leaf Miner, I am not taking a chance this year at all. I've actually screwed that in. That net has been screwed in along all sides. And I will be unscrewing only to do a light weed and it will be going straight back on. And fingers crossed. We get some decent harvest this year. And just before I go guys, that's the second year of my rhubarb plant. So we'll get some pickings from that this year as well. So, oh no, it's turning out to be a beautiful day. What are you doing, girls and boys? Hmm? What are you doing? He's sunbathing. Hannibal's not seen the sun yet. See, he was born in October. Hey, you going to sunbathe? Hmm? Have a wee scratch first. Have a wee scratch. There we go. Listen to the birds. Absolutely beautiful. Right, from us guys. Until next time. Au revoir to the pup. And bye the bye.